Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to part two in the WebTop series. So uh, like I said in previous episode, uh, web part two is going to dive a little bit deeper into how to customize it and how to bootstrap uh, the, the container. So if you're not familiar with WebTops and what it's all about, uh, please feel free to watch part one of the series. I will have the link popping up in the corner and uh, let's dive straight into it. Let me start by showing you, as always, the end results. Uh, this is already running. Uh, it's a Docker, this is Docker desktop. If I click on the port here, to open up a web browser here. Yeah, and this is a, it's a black screen. Uh, it's i3 Fedora. And uh, yeah, if you just, uh, if you start up uh, i3, if you hit uh, mod, and mod is in this case alt, alt enter. Then you will open up uh, terminals, the XFCE for terminal. And maybe you're wondering why no, for the rest, no customization because of the scaling, basically. I had lots of issues with that and decided in the end to, uh, yeah, to leave it like this. Uh, what you could do, uh, I have bundled a picture, June's a JPEG. That's a picture yeah, of June's, obviously. I have that in there and I've also some software to yeah, create a wall, a run pi wall. So if you just in your home directory, create a script, slash rc. So if you create bash rc, it's a little bit slow. And I have this in there. So it will run wall on the image pictures dunes, the JPEG. And we'll run that each time. Let's uh, close it. Alt uh, Shift Q. Open up a new one, and then it will parse the the wallpaper nicely. Uh, yeah, that will do it each time. Uh, that is not ideal, I will admit. But for now, I think it's the best I can do. Uh, bootstrapping this in this uh, way. So let's close that. So uh, yeah, we have that. If you hit Alt D, then you have the Rofi. You can uh, select the file manager Dolphin, for example. Dolphin, uh, I put it in the in the list. A little bit empty, a little bit rough, but still usable. I also have the Funar in there. Funar file manager. Yeah, it's also a little bit minimal. And of course, uh, Chromium. For the web browser is well in there but yeah i think it's a fully working uh, desktop you have at this moment uh volume control pulse audio for the audio i haven't fully tested audio it should be supported but yeah you have at least that utility as well And uh, let's go to the customizing of it. So I've created a couple of scripts, build script after build script. And of course it's built now. So you could uh, run if you want after build dot h. We'll stop it and we'll remove the image from here. So as you can see, it's gone now. And all the containers are stopped. So let's move that out of the way. And basically, if you go to the URL now, it will throw an error page. Move that out of the way as well. Docker file. It's the thing uh, that is the, the meat and potatoes, so to speak, of this. And that has some commands. So let's go over it. So from ghcr.io, ghcr, that means GitHub Container Registry. So let me show you the right straight away. Uh, that's using the base images referenced. Uh, so if you go to github.com slash Linux server. And of course you have all the repositories here. And one of them is the web top, uh, like I said previous time. So Docker, Docker web top. 
Docker Webtop is one and your various other applications. So in the previous episode, I used Docker Webtop. Uh, but um, I, I tried a little bit to customize it a little bit more and, and decided to dive a little bit deeper. And I also found another video of uh, Christian Lempa, I think he's called. Yeah, so Christian Lempa, and he also created a couple of the videos about uh, yeah, building images and Docker and also about Chasm. And I looked into his explanation and he basically was following uh, some guide as well. And I, I looked into that a little bit more and I thought, well, I also want to use that, uh, the base image of Chasm. But uh, that's how I came to this. And specifically, uh, if you look here at GitHub, maybe you don't know it. But if you look at packages here, this is the container registry. So uh, from here, base image. Here's the base images, right? So the base image chasm VNC, base image chasm, chasm VNC. That's the one I use. So published by Linux server.io in this Linux server slash Docker base image chasm VNC. But I use this base image because it has all the, um, yeah, the plumbing already there. And specifically, I use the, the Fedora 30E9 here. So this is the way. So I use that as a basis for my uh, for my web top. So for bootstrapping it, basically. So based on that, I'm uh, going to there some arguments. This is just standard from the original Docker file. I left it like that. Uh, user root. I don't know. I need that. Sorry. And then run the packages. So i3, xfc for terminal, tunar, and like I just showed you. And I decided for now to not put polybar in there because it was giving some strange scaling issues. So maybe in the future it will be different, but for now I just left it like I showed you in the beginning. And some other files and utilities. Uh, I commented out some in some other ones. So it's up to you what you want to put in here. So if I rebuild it, let's uh, do a little bit less just to speed up the, the process. Let's say these are the, the minimal ones. Uh, so these are the minimal ones. All right, so I'll show you the rebuild in a moment. All right, and I saw Powell, like I told you. So for the colors, and to clean up, I decided to comment it out. But you could, if you are actually publishing a container image, what which I don't do, uh, at least not to a registry. Uh, if you are doing that, you should clean it up. Uh, so to reduce the size, of course, of the container image. And that's what this code is all about. Okay. And some uh, customs. This is also standard. So copy copying everything that is in root here, these uh, folders. And uh, you could put your own folders in there as well, if you want. I, I didn't uh, do that, to be honest. Uh, for example, etc, uh, you could put stuff in uh, the overlay, S6 overlay for, for the layers on top of the container. And the defaults, uh, auto start for me is empty. And normally it's uh, X term in there. This I didn't touch. Uh, menu XML, um, not interesting, just for open box. And here actually, I spent a lot of time uh, getting this to work. This was what I needed, just this line here, where it says the open box session and then startup uh, user bin i3 replace. And that's basically all what I needed uh, to immediately invoke i3. But uh, you will want to go a little bit further uh, with bootstrapping, like also providing some nice, uh, good, uh, yeah, colors and stuff. I think that's for later. That's the cosmetics of it. Uh, maybe when you watch this video and try this repository, it will be looking a little bit better. But I wanted to show you this uh, this step because I think this is an essential step. And uh, yeah, that's it uh, for this. And then 
this part is i3config. This is this directory. And what I put in there is, of course, the i3config. And I tweaked it a little bit to, uh, to make it compatible with this image. So, for example, the home directory that is mapped to slash config. And that's a little bit uh, different than normally. Uh, I've tested this and this uh, seems to work okay. Um, and one other thing, mod is alt. And I was pushing on the, the, yeah, the Windows key and that was triggering uh, removing the focus from the, from the window. And, I, and alt it seemed to work fine. Uh, like I just showed you alt enter, for example, uh, open up terminal, that worked okay. So I decided to leave it like uh, that. All right, so you can extend upon it a little bit further if you want. And here's the Rofi uh, launching, uh, the Rofi launcher. And uh, yeah, like I said, maybe if you look at it later, then it lo looks better than now. It's a little bit rough, but uh, still it's working. All right, so yeah, you have the, the Pycom, uh, Compton slash Pycom. So you also have the transparency and you have some shadows in there. Uh, so this is not working yet. So the polybar, I decided to remove it. But let's say you, you do want to have polybar. I can show you that in a minute. And I just comment, if you just comment this out, like this. And then maybe also good to have uh, danced. As danced, if you don't know, that's for the notifications. So have a small notification in there. I think XRDB is also handy to have. And get, wget, chromium, uh, all that stuff. So for now, this is okay. Uh, I would say, let then rebuild it. Um, yeah. Uh, so i3 is important. And also, yeah, pycom conf, uh, polybar. So pycom conf, what did I change? I changed this, uh, glx. Uh, it was before glx. Now it's x renderer, meaning it's a little bit more slow. So it's uh, using, it's slower. So it's using the X renderer, not GLX. And GLX should, is hardware acceleration. But uh, I, that's a new, that's a follow up, I think, for for later. So yeah, and some other configurations, uh, of course. So you can just run the build as SH. And what does it do? So you can, I will move this. So it will build using Docker. And that looks at the Docker file and this whole directory. And uh, no cache and pull. So no cache means uh, that it uh, doesn't depend on the cached image if you have it locally. And pull means uh, that if you have a newer version of this is published on the base image, then it will pull that down as well. So it's always advised to use pull. Uh, T, uh, that's the image. So meaning the name of the image uh, that I create in this case locally, because I don't publish to a container registry like this. I just keep it locally. And maybe it's interesting follow up to also look at uh, pushing it to registry. I know that uh, Christian Lamper in his videos, he basically pushes everything to the registry. Yeah, that's also fine. But I want to also look into how to incorporate uh, Git and directories and really focus more on the bootstrapping part. And it was a little bit uh, difficult to get it started. So let's do it step by step. And then it will run that in the current directory. And that's what the dot stands for, as you maybe know. And after that, uh, Docker Compose with a file and Chasm Webtop uh, up dash D will demonize the, the process. So just started chasm webtop finally there's this one using this image let me remove this one using chasm vnc custom that's the thing i built fedora 39 and fedora 39 is the tag container name is in there and i have these directories so this is config like i said that's standard and i renamed that to home directory i thought that was more appropriate for this Pictures and I have one wallpaper like I showed you in the beginning already in there. Config, I talked about that. And one thing I didn't discuss yet is the scripts. So if you have some kind of maintenance or some kind of scripts you want to run, 
when uh, it comes up uh, the container, then put them in there. It's empty for me, uh, but this I checked, I tested it and it worked. But I wasn't able to do the full bootstrap using this, so I will comment it out for now. And if you want to use Docker in Docker, then you should also uh, uncomment the following line, this one, Docker sock. All right, the ports, of course, that's the uh, same. So that's it. Let's just uh, build it and uh, give it some time. So if you just look here, then you will see the, the progress. So and after some time, uh, it should complete. And should, yeah, it's uh, started, as you can see here. So no errors, no errors. And it took, uh, took two minutes approximately. And uh, let's move the Docker desktop here. So you see it's uh, running now. And the container Chasm VNC custom is in use. So, and the, this is the tag for Dart 39. So you could put your own versioning on it. And this is the container that is running with the ports, like I showed you in the beginning. Click on it again. And yeah, I I, uh, I said uh, that I will put uh, Polybar in there. And I did that. And as you can maybe see, also maybe see the reason that I choose not to put it in there. Because it's it doesn't understand fully the resolution that it runs at. So, up. so now it refreshes and that looks better, I would say, but not perfect. So, and it refreshes because of the, the script I put in there, so it will uh, toggle it uh, now each time. Because the color scheme is read in each time now. So, oops, kill all the polybars. There you go. Yeah, so uh, have fun playing around with it. And uh, if you have any questions or remarks, uh, feel free to reach out. Going quite fast, of course, the explanation. And uh, I would say happy uh, year's end and see you next year. Bye-bye.